Time to start this bitch up. So I got back from Virginia Beach yesterday. Um, it is it's eight o'clock in the morning. I never check my tire pressure and I never check my oil. About to drive to West Virginia today, 250 miles. I drove 700 miles. I didn't check the oil or the tire pressure or anything. They don't look bad. I am gonna check it now. You're not going today, bud. Through those mountain roads, I don't want them in the car. But, you know, we're gonna go pick up a bunch of shit. So, I'm gonna go inspect the car and we'll be on our way. Let's go inside. Honestly, it's a little cloudy, but I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Everything's in here. Coffee. Just check my tire pressure. Yeah, we can use some more tires. All right, that's good. And I swear to God, I drove, it's 350 miles there, like pretty much on the dock. And on one tank of gas, I put in a tank of gas right up here up the road. I drove all the way there. See, that tire's not bad. I'll leave it there. I drove probably about 10 miles while I was up there. Don't want to hit the camera. And then I drove another 50 miles back before I even filled up. And I, was, I rode for, with the gas light on for probably about 20 miles. Yeah, that could use a lot more air. That's good. I mean, my year is a 2011. But for a 13 year old car, I don't really think I can ask much more out of it. Yeah, that's good. Always check your shit. Check my tires now. Let's see, there's still some tread on it. You know, there's still a little bit of a bump to it, so that means we still have tire left. So there's no point in letting this tire go to waste. Still have a little bump there, which means we still have tire. Might as well use it on this long trip. It's all warmed up. Let's check the oil now. My water pump has seen better days. The belt's cracking. I need a belt. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, yeah. Just a little dry. It's all right. We'll just put some back in her. Hope I have some in here. Fuck. Nope. I'm gonna walk over and get some. That's five point. I don't think this is open. It looks all right. All right. Driveway oil, it is. We're gonna bring it with us. Here's what I'll do. The measuring jug. Pour this oil into that oil so I can see what this oil is feeling like doing today. It looks fine. It's bubbly. Doesn't have any smell to it. Just fucking dump her in. And the trick is you just pour it out. It's okay if you spill a little bit. Leave that there. Take care of that little spillage we have there. It'll burn off, but we want it to burn off slowly. We don't want it to burn off with a purpose. We're in the trash can. The oil should be done oilating right there. A little bit above, that's what we like to see. All right, let's get the fuck on the road. I gotta get there by five. All right, just filled up the tank, left the gas station. I guess we're rolling for the next few hours. We'll probably stop at a rest stop here eventually. I'm getting on 40 and then getting on 77. Hopefully everything goes smoothly.
at the first rest stop. You know, the next one's not for another 50 miles, so I'll stop at this one. They started giving out these maps at all these rest stops. I started taking them all, because fucking, it's kind of cool to have. But uh, I started probably about somewhere in this area. Um, and now we're up here. So, I mean, we drove across a decent chunk of road here, but still got a lot more driving to do. Probably about four and a half more hours. Uh, get out for a minute. Pretty much got it pretty spot on there. The map I got yesterday, I got it at the North Carolina Welcome Center. On my way back from Virginia. I'll try to get one for West Virginia too. I don't know if I have one. Uh, what do I want? I'm spending too much money on car parts. I'm not getting anything from the vending machine. <laughs> These car parts are my little treat. Take that thing out. Alright, just made it to Virginia. I didn't realize this rest area was uh, the Virginia Welcome Center. Virginia's got some really nice uh, rest areas. They really do them up nice. Got a little plaque over here. Recognition. Someone from 1983. I'm not going to sit there and read the whole thing though. Yeah, they got like a straight up park right here. I'm going to go in here real quick. Well, damn, I need to start traveling more on a weekday when the rest areas are open. Not only did I get a free map, they had uh, free stickers, too. Don't know what I'm going to stick it to, but I always appreciate that. Very friendly, too. Back on the road we go. All right, I'm here at the next rest area here. Um, so we were right there. Now we are about right here somewhere. Virginia always has the nicest rest areas. Got about two and a half more hours of driving here. It's a nice day out. Look, you can you bring the family out here, have a whole barbecue. It's pretty much like a little park. All right, got me a little treat here. Time for more of the same, time to get back on the road. here at this overlook I'm in somewhere 
I'm somewhere in fucking West Virginia. I don't know. Get out and stretch for a little bit. Get a picture of my car right here. Been getting fucking filthy from all the all the mud and shit, but hey. Yeah, it's probably the best view I'm gonna try to get of this church. Oh shit, there's a Crown Vic. I'm rolling into town here and I finally see some Crown Vicks. The whole time I've been driving, I didn't see any Crown Vicks. I'm about five minutes away from this meetup, so I'll be back when I get the car parts. All right, just picked up all the shit. Partition, a bunch of lighting shit, air filter, cause it was on the ground, and then some shit in the trunk, and we are out of here. I'm gonna go stop and get some food and then probably some gas and be on the road here in search for a McDonald's I have ended up in Kentucky so I really don't know where I'm at I think there's a McDonald's up here though I thought I saw it on the map well there's actually a metric fuck ton of people inside this McDonald's so I'm actually not gonna eat here I'm just gonna get on the highway and stop it somewhere to eat later stopped at the 7-eleven got me a little bit of a, a lunch there I'm not actually going to get gas right now. I just had to clean some of that shit off because it's just fucking... It's terrible. It's so much better. Damn, would you look at that. That is so much cleaner. Well... Time to get back on the road. Holy shit. So I took a completely different route coming back. We just entered Tennessee. I don't know how long I've been fucking driving. Since 8 o'clock this morning, it's 20 till 7, so long fucking time. About halfway home, got about two and a half more hours of driving. Holy shit. What am I gonna do, not drive home? So they were actually open. It's almost 7 and they still have the Welcome Center open. Tennessee map here. Check out what's going on in the vending machine room. Dang, look at this shit. They got fucking matchbox toys and shit in there. That's wild. I'd hate to be a parent bringing your kids into here. I will get me something to drink here. They got the glass Coke. Oh shit. Tennessee knows where it's at. I'm gonna drink me this Coke and get the fuck on the road. Cause I'm trying to get home. At least before 9.30. That'd be... That would be lovely. Damn. This shit's so fucking dirty. Well, we got a car meet this weekend, so I gotta take it to the car wash anyhow. Oh my god, what time is it? Fucking 9.30. I'm at a gas station by my house. Made it here, gas light came on fucking like... 20 miles ago, so I'm gonna throw like 10 bucks in and then probably head home and then just go to bed. I'm not even gonna bother unloading this shit right now. I gotta clean my car before the meet, so I'll take it out then. Yeah, fucking what a trip. Driving all day. Highly recommend.